I'm gonna get you some uh, really good shots. This is gonna be cool because like all the shots I get are gonna be like really like if like maybe not so good, you know. All right, you ready? Thanks. I know. He's very cute. Will you mind taking a photo of me? Buddy. What's the dog's name? Buddy. Buddy? Buddy. Can I pet the dog? Sure. Okay. He's scared of that. He's... Hi, hey, buddy. buddy. Hey, buddy. Come on, boy. It's all right. He's scared of that. He's so cute. You just hold the camera and you just hit this big black button right there. Okay. And that's it. All right. Thanks so much. Alright, no problem. All right, How's all right. my hair? How's my hair? Thank you so much. Alright, bye buddy. Have a good day. The idea that that I get on a train to come out to a street just to shoot photos is is a little foreign, I think, to most uh, people and it was super foreign to me prior to me doing it the first time it felt like what am I doing like I'm getting on a train just I'm just gonna walk on this street like the train takes 35 minutes just just for me to get to this street like how could that be worth it documentation is not a motivating factor for me what is? Uh, I my motivating factor is I'm I really and truly trying to entertain a lot of my photos, I feel like, rely on no context to be exciting or interesting. It's not exactly like this, but it's like a magician revealing his magic trick. And it's like, well, that magic trick was stupid once you know the answer to it. I'm uh, attempting to not allow that to happen to some degree while still being open and and authentic and a, and a real human that isn't lying to people yeah. and is uh, excited about what they're doing. Oh, in a situation like this where where you want to make a documentary about me taking photos and you want to see extras of photos I take because like, you know, if I see something good, I'm going to take 15 photos of it because you never know which one is going to actually be good or if any of them are going to be good. Maybe for you, I would, you know, it, it, I think it all depends how big the, the contextual uh, fib is or, or how exciting it could be. So. Uh, for example, I shoot product photography down on Wall Street, and I was walking home, and there was a guy in a deli, and uh, he's wearing a construction hat, and there was like three or four other guys in there, and they were all like yelling. And I was just like, what is going on in there? So I just take a little step into the deli, and I look around, and it turns out that one of the construction workers has got a massive snake. For some reason, he comes outside and he puts the snake in his mouth. I'm from Oregon, so there's like lots of weird snake guys walking around, like doing snake tricks and like trying to pick up chicks with their giant boa constrictors and stuff. But this guy, I mean, he, he looked, he looked, he didn't seem like one of those like weird snake guys. He seemed, this was an interesting anomaly I had encountered. So the context in that photo, if, if I were to tell you this story, which I just did, uh, it, I feel like if you were to see the photo prior to me telling the, the story, you'd just be like, why is a construction worker like out on a New York street with a snake in his mouth? When you give context to a photo, you take away some of the reason why someone would be interested in looking at it. And so when I 
put out photos now, I almost always do my best to give no, no context as to allow the maximum enjoyment of the photo for the audience. Uh-oh, this guy's, what's going on here? Go back. Oh, it's Ronaldo. He's the most famous football player in the whole world. I guess we should follow for a bit. This is too weird to not follow. I'm sitting in a sign. Why is the security guy too tall? Well, that was exhilarating. Also, I just saw Aaron. Burger? Yeah. He's supposed to do one of these. I'm yeah, trying to get... I just saw him and he was like, I'm on assignment. Anyway. What's up, buddy? How are you? How are you? Is that really him? No. Okay. It's a PR Okay. Dude, I haven't seen you in a while and you're ripped. Yeah, I'm into powerlifting. You're ripped. It's insane. Yeah, I got into powerlifting. I got a good shot of you. I need it for this. Oh, I'm filming when I'm in. Oh, now you're in it, Aaron. Now we're filming right now. We're doing it anyway. <laughs> Any like intelligent or interested person is gonna come up with a tall tale that is ten times the size of, of what is actually happening in the photo, and that's why photos are so special. We're able to look at a frame and know so much and know so little. It, it's so manipulated. Like, I truly do control what people are going to see just by withholding 99% of my photos. The question of why is it worth taking photos, I don't really know if there's a good answer to that because it seems like 99% of the photos I take are utter horseshit. But the act of taking photos is exciting.